Greetings people, it's Mr. Paul the Trigger yet again on another episode of the Enlightenment series. This is not really an episode of the Enlightenment series, but this is my message to the Zambians. And uh, I'm just doing this episode, I barely comment on showbiz, I barely comment on entertainment stuff, but I have to. Why? Because this happened in Zambia. Why Zambia? Why am I standing up for Zambia? Or why am I advocating for Zambians? Because Zambians, they showed love, compassion and support. For Sister Ruth Matthew and for that alone and baby testimony, I'm going to stand with Zambia. I'm going to also be a voice to the voiceless, for the voiceless who are in Zambia. And this is my message to Zambians. Please, if you can, if you may, do not attend Keith Daniel's show. And the reason why I'm saying that is this. Good. Welcome to Zambia Kids Daniel. What should people expect tonight? Tomorrow night. Sorry. What should people? Any words for Zambians? What should it say? In my message to the young men, you know, most Nigerian artists and celebrities, they are no different to Nigerian false prophets. And I wouldn't want to believe, and I would also want to know if this young man is not affiliated to some of these major, major false prophets in Nigeria. But this is my advice to Kiss Daniel. What he just demonstrated here is inhumane. This was dis disrespect at its highest level, not only to this young lady or to this um, journalist, but to the rest of Zambians, these people represent Zambia. What was the big deal in you accepting a bouquet of roses, a bouquet of flowers, or in you just granting an interview? These men are at work, man. You are at work. One thing you should remind, we should remind these celebrities, and mainly these false prophets, is without us, without you people, they are nothing. Now look at what pride is causing them to do now. This is my advice to Nigerian celebrities, especially this young man called Kiss Daniel. Let's cancel culture. Let's stop supporting this gig that he has come to Zambia to perform. He has come to take money from Zambians, but he is disrespecting Zambians. This is my advice to the young man. Kizzy, a your keys. God hates pride. Let me take you to the scripture. You barely read scripture. I know you don't even read scripture. Because if you do, you wouldn't demonstrate such kind of arrogance to people that support you, to people that show you love. Let me take you to Proverbs 11 verse 2. When pride comes, then comes disgrace. Kizzy, you'll be disgraced. But with humility comes wisdom. Let's jump again to Proverbs 16 verse 5. The Lord detests all proud of heart. But be sure of this, they will not go unpunished. Kizzy, you will not go unpunished for what you did. Let's jump to Proverbs 16, verse 18. Pride goes before destruction. A haughty spirit before a fall. Mr. Kizzy, what you demonstrated here, you need to apologize to Zambians, not to the lady that showed you love or that uh, wanted to give you a bouquet of roses. What happened to humility? We have people like Davido in Nigeria. We have the likes of uh, Wizkid in Nigeria, Benna Boy. They've achieved, you know, pinnacles of success. They've done the most, but they've never disrespected fans. One thing you must know, Africans, you know, my appeal to the conscience of Africans is you are the ones who own these people. Without you, they are nothing. You must not allow them to disrespect one of your own like this. You're the one who attend their shows. The food that they are eating, the luxurious lives that they are living is because of your support. The least that they can do is to reciprocate, is to return the favor. They are gifted people, yes, we don't argue that. But when they get to a point whereby they feel like they are demigods, whereby they avoid people, the same people that are supporting them, then we need to cancel their culture. We need to put an end to their fame before they become a flame. 
Because if you, you can tell by the arrogance of this young man that if he's entertained, if you keep supporting him, he's going to be spitting in your faces. And I heard that he denied to perform with the local Zambian artists. Who do they think they are, these kids, man? We gave them an opportunity. You are awarding them an opportunity to flourish. And now they think because they just released this booger, let allow kids Daniel to go and do booger with these bodyguards and his crew. Don't attend that show. Teach, just teach them a lesson. Show them that you are the people, you are the ones that have given them the lives that they have today. Not the other way around. You are benefiting nothing from these people. Nothing at all. They release a hit song today, you listen to it, you dance to it. Tomorrow you are back to your troubles and sorrows. You are back to your poverty. But you are changing their lives by attending, by watching their stuff, subscribing to their things, sharing their content, sharing their work. But they can't spit on people's faces like this. Zambians, do something about it. I know Zambians, you can and I know you will. Don't allow to be disrespected like this. You own these people. Not the other way around. Do something about it. I don't know what you'll do about it, but make kids Daniel know that you're not happy with what he did. Anytime you need me, Zambians, I told you I'm coming back again for false prophets in Zambia. But the main priority right now is baby testimony. But for now, let's just teach this uh, young Nigerian artist uh, who's also likely to be a baby charlatan because only baby charlatans do what he did. Show him a lesson. Show him flames. Make him suffer a little bit of the loss, the pinch of his actions because there are consequences to such actions. You don't treat people like that. There's nothing special about being a celebrity, especially an artist. Without people, you are nothing. Zambians, I know you can and I know you will. Spread this message. Let all Zambians know that you've been disrespected and you don't deserve to be disrespected. Zambians are good people, loving people, welcoming people. They also deserve people that show them love. That's my message and I'm sticking to it. Cancel kids Daniel's show if possible. It's Mr. Pull the Trigger. I'm out.